Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for the weekly tip. And today's tip is actually on the lead source section. Alright, so this is where you can actually see how you can add inside a new lead source if you're updating your contact. Alright, so previously if you wanted to add inside the lead source, you'd actually need to import the contacts and then whatever lead sources were already added in, you could utilize. But now you can actually add them directly from the contacts or you can even edit them as well too. So in order to add one from the contacts, I'm going to click on the contacts option up here at the top left inside command. All right, so we'll click on that contacts option. All right, and we're just going to add a contact like we normally would. So we're going to click that add contact button up here at the top right. All right, now from here, I'm just going to add inside a test contacts. So I'm going to type inside my name real quick. I'll put inside KW email. I don't think that one's been used on here quite yet. All right, so we have our normal information we would add for our contact. Now, in order to add inside the lead source, though, just click on Add More Information. And once you do that, you can click on Sales Pipeline. All right, so we can click on the Sales Pipeline option. Now, this is going to be the same editing option that you'll have if you're editing a contact directly. All right, we just did a tip a couple minutes ago, actually, if you're watching this one second. All right, of how you can actually edit that contact directly for the lead source. But this is how you can actually add it right from the home page. All right, so now if I click on select lead source, I can search for the different lead sources that I want to. So I can even search for, you know, the one that I just created, SLM lead. All right, or I can go through here and I can actually type inside a new lead source. So maybe this came over from, you know, open house. And I'm going to put 123 Main Street. All right, now once I add that in, so maybe I want to put this as the lead source that came from that open house directly, I can click Create Lead Source, and as you can see, it's created it. All right, so if I need to edit it, I can click the X button, or I can click on Add, and that'll add that immediately as a new lead source for me to utilize and use moving forward. All right, so if I click that Create button, it'll create this contact immediately, and it'll have that new lead source added in right away, too. All right, so it'll be that simple to actually utilize everything on here. Let me see if I can search real quick for this. Awesome. Oh, I mistyped my name. There we go. All right, so now if I pull up my contact on here, I just added in. Here's the new lead source. I can see that immediately, and then I can even see the date that the source was changed on here too. So there you go. So it's that simple to add inside a new lead source for your contacts. There you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.